Chapter 3 Essential Process Modeling In this chapter we discuss the essentials of process modeling. We first introduce BPMN. Then we discuss its support of branching and merging. We have a look at how business objects are shown in the BPM model and also resources. We then discuss how process decomposition can be represented and how process models can be reused. Process modeling is not a specific phase of the BPM lifecycle, but it is related to many of the management activities. Here we focus on process discovery and the kind of process models that are produced by it. We call those process models as-is process models because they represent how a process currently operates. We use BPMN to represent these process models. Chapter 3, Section 1 First Steps with BPMN BPMN is an abbreviation. It stands for Business Process Model and Notation. BPMN is a standard that is proposed by the Object Management Group that is an industry consortium that is interested in standards that support information systems design. BPMN is supported by numerous tools. The corresponding websites lists over 70 of them. BPMN is used both for conceptual analysis of processes and also for designing executable processes. BPMN was designed based on essential concepts of graphical flowcharts. It defines a set of notational elements and it describes how they can be combined. A BPMN process model is conceptually spoken a graph. There are various specific types of elements, but if you look at the core elements, there are only four of them. They are activities. They are represented by boxes. They are events, such as start and end events. They are shown as circles. They are gateways. Gateways describe how decisions are being taken in the process. And all of these elements are connected with so-called sequence flow arcs. Let us create our first BPMN process model. We consider an order to cash process. I read out. A typical order to cash process is triggered by the receipt of a purchase order from a customer. The purchase order has to be checked against the stock regarding the availability of the items requested. Depending on stock availability, the purchase order may be confirmed or rejected. If the purchase order is confirmed, an invoice is emitted and the goods requested are shipped. The process completes by archiving the order or by rejecting it. Here you see the solution for modeling the order to cash process in BPMN. The different elements are shown by different symbols. On the left hand side, we observe that the process starts with a purchase order. The purchase order being received is the start event of this process. It is shown as a circle. Also naming conventions apply. Events are labeled by a noun and a past participle verb. The process continues with an activity. This activity that follows is check stock availability. Also for activities naming conventions apply. 
The label of an activity should be an imperative verb and a noun pointing to the business object that is manipulated. The process then continues with a gateway. Gateways indicate that decisions are taken. Here a decision is taken to either reject the order or to confirm it. This decision is being taken based on the condition whether items are in stock or not. It is a naming convention to write these conditions on the outgoing arcs of this gateway. If the order is confirmed, you see that several steps follow. The step of emit invoice, ship goods and archive order. Eventually we reach one of the end events. There is an end event that is called order fulfilled and if the order is rejected, the end event is order rejected. To understand what a BPMN model actually means, we can use the so-called token game. The token game in this case here shows how individual orders are processed. Each individual order is shown as a separate token. Here we use different colors for them. When order number one is received, the respective token is created on the start event. Step by step, it runs through the process while activities are being completed. This order is successfully fulfilled. Let's look at order number two. Here, the check at the gateway indicates that items are not in stock. As a result, the order is rejected. 